Welcome to the next video in the evolution topic. This video addresses dot point 8.4.2a from Life on Earth, which is process and analyze information to construct a timeline of the main events that occurred during the evolution of life on Earth. This here is a fairly basic representation of a timeline of how life on Earth has evolved. At the bottom, we can see a scale that shows all the way back to 4.6 million years ago, sorry, 4.6 billion years ago, which is believed to be when the Earth was formed. Moving through to 3.5 or 3.5 billion or 3,500 3, million years ago, we can see that the oldest known microfossils were found in Western Australia. It wasn't until between 1,500 and 2,000 million years ago that we had oxygen being produced by plants that was able to accumulate in uh, the atmosphere. So going back, we can have a look at when the simp first simple organisms were uh, sort of developing on Earth. So that goes off our timeline here. So well before, say, a thousand million years ago, we had simple organisms living in the water, being our bacteria and algae, protists and fungi. Moving through, we can set then see that there was no real evidence of life until we got to our basic insects or our basic invertebrates, sorry, which was about 550 million years ago. Then we can see that we had the introduction of fish and their relatives, and we still don't have any land plants forming. Once we had the land plants forming, after a few species of fish were starting to populate the water, the land plants then led to this explosion of life on land. In particular, we can see here that insects started to populate life fairly um, evenly with when we started to have our plants form on land as well. Now we didn't get up to our really complex organisms such as our reptiles, birds and mammals until very late in the piece, so about 350 million years ago and in particular the first placentals which humans are, so we produce our offspring and support them in the womb using a placenta, was about 100 million years ago. And obviously that would have been the first monkeys and things and then that would have led to the evolution of humans. So what you're going to do is you're going to visit this website here and what you're going to do is interact with the website uh, as sort of follows in the next little bit. Of so once you arrive at this website, you can see across the top we have a timeline of life's evolution. Now along certain parts of the timeline there are these red dots and these red dots are what we want you to focus on basically at each of the red dots there are there's information about the most important part of the formation or the origins of life on earth within the body of the the website so if we move along to four billion years ago we can see that we have the heavy bombardment of meteorites which we've already talked about and the formation of the earth's crusts and oceans then moving forward to 3.5 billion years ago, we have our oldest geological evidence of life being our stromatolites that we have already mentioned uh, this topic. Then moving along, we have the introduction of our cyanobacteria, as we know, we're able to photosynthesize. Then we jump all the way to 2 billion years ago, the evolution of cells with a nucleus being our eukaryotes. Then continuing forward, the evolution of multicellular organisms about 1.2 billion years ago. Then the Cambrian explosion. So this was the Cambrian period where we had this massive increase in the diversity and number of complex animals in a relatively short time span. And then lastly, moving through to fairly close to today, 230 to 65 million years ago was the reign of the dinosaurs through a variety of different eras. And then lastly, the appearance of humans approximately 200,000 years ago. Basically, what you're going to do is each of those dot points, you're going to record some information about what's taking place at each of those time frames in the evolution of life on Earth. Then once you've done that, you're going to refer to your booklet and there's a couple of questions for you to answer about exactly sort of what took place at different times during the origin of um, origins of life and then there's an activity for you to sort out some 
um, cards that have the various major stages of evolution of life where you will then try to create a scaled timeline. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.